OK, so uh, let's go and get into this one uh, real quick on this case. Again, we can just solve for 0. However, on this one, I've kind of shown a couple problems with x plus 2 or x minus 2. We know that it's just going to be the opposite of this binomial. Make sure it's linear, but it's good. So let's just write out. I'll pick this one up a little bit. Let's just do negative 2. Then we take the leading co then we take the coefficients and our constants and label them. Make sure we're not missing any, which, we're, which we are in this case. You can see that we do not have an x cubed. See, this case is this grab it, or this polynomial in descending order goes x to the fourth. There should be x to the cube. So we know that we could rewrite that as x to the fourth plus 0x cubed minus 5x squared plus 4x plus 12. Right? If we're going to put this in descending order, because 0 times x cubed is just going to be 0. But we need to make sure we include that place value. So we'll have a 1, 0, negative 5, 4, and 12. All right? So now, let's go and go through the process. Again, the first one is the easy one. We'll bring that down, which is a 1. Then we always multiply diagonally, add vertically. 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. 0 plus negative 2 is going to be negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 2 is a positive 4. Negative 5 plus 4 is going to be a negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 2 is a positive 2. 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 times negative 2 is negative 12. 12. 12 plus negative 12 is 0. So therefore, that's our remainder. So we have a remainder of 0. So that tells us that our divisor evenly divides into our polynomial. So therefore, we can say that's our remainder. This is our constant, our linear, our quadratic, and our cubic. Therefore, the quotient for this problem, remember, these are going to be your coefficients and your constant for your uh, quotient. So therefore, I'm just going to take my purple letter and write it as the coefficient of each one of these terms. So my quotient will be x cubed minus 2x squared minus x plus 6. And since I have a remainder 0, that will be my final answer. Thanks.